My parting word would be this. Make sure that whenever you put something in your mouth, that that something is going to compliment you and that it's going to serve you well. It's going to support your nervous system. Because if you don't, you will find yourself stressed. Not only are you going to find reasons to dislike me, you're going to dislike yourself. Imagine putting something in your mouth that not only tastes good, mm, that's great, but also supports your entire nervous system. If you don't, you might end up stressed, unhappy, and even sick. Dr. Sebi believed that what you eat could make all the difference, and he had some pretty radical ideas about it. Ready to hear how this herbal healing hero claimed to cure diseases with nothing but plants? That something must have gone wrong. We find ourselves sick. Why should we be sick? So tonight, we hope that I would be to you as you have been to me this evening. You came. You came to listen. Well, stick around because we're about to explore the controversial yet intriguing life and legacy of Dr. Sebi, also known as Alfredo Bowman, the herbal healing hero with a twist. When I told my mama that I had cured my 13 AIDS patient, Meet Dr. Sebi, or Alfredo Bowman, a man with zero formal education in medicine but a passion for healing. But I stand before you today at 65, feeling very healthy and feeling very good. I didn't go to school to learn ABC or 1, 2, 3. I didn't go to kindergarten. I didn't read any books on how to win friends and influence people just to stand before you and talk. Haven't you heard many say, well, I can't talk because I'm very nervous. But what could make you nervous to talk to your brothers and your sisters? I mean, you talk to your husband, you talk to your wife. Why can't you talk to a group? Something in us, that fear, that fear, that fear that comes with the food that we eat. Learning from his grandma, he developed a unique approach to health, rejecting conventional medicine in favor of traditional herbal remedies. Why do we go to see the doctor to give us a chemical when the Bible says the herbs are for the healing? Africa, the way over here we put America. What happened between hair and hair? A lot happened. You see, when we were hair, without the mathematics, without the ABC, without the sciences, we had something to our advantage that we no longer have hair. We are blind hair. Hair we weren't. We were seeing. Why? Because God provided us with everything we needed hair. And none of it was come free or rice and beans. There were no tofu. There were no soy there. There were no cows. And there were no hogs, no chicken. There were no flour. Those things didn't come from Africa. You see rice and beans and flour and cheese and meat and the starch that you eat, they all came from right here, from a laboratory. Now, for us to eat, you have to have the understanding of biochemistry. But when we were here, we didn't have to know anything about biochemistry. Why? Because God doesn't make poison. Diagnosed with asthma, diabetes, impotence, and visual impairment, he was told his days were numbered. But Dr. Sebi didn't accept that. He experimented on himself with herbs and fasting and emerged healthier than ever. The science and philosophy. Dr. Sebi's philosophy was simple, yet controversial. Diseases are caused by mucus and acidity in the body. His solution? An alkaline, plant-based diet to detox detoxify and alkalize the body, eliminating mucus and fostering health. This diet shunned animal products, processed foods, and certain hybrid plants, focusing instead on natural raw fruits, vegetables, grains, and nuts. The alkaline diet in detail. Let's break down this diet. That the great Hippocrates used herbs to cure disease. This man was curing every disease in Greece. 365 years before Christ was even born. If Jesus cured with herbs, Hippocrates cured with herbs, and God said the herbs, then what's up? Why aren't we curing with herbs today? The Dr. Sebi diet emphasizes eating foods that create the least amount of mucus. Approved foods include kale, wild arugula, avocados, and wild rice. The African biomineral balance has to be constructed around an organic or alkali structure. Why? Because it is alkalinity that delivers the energy. 
There isn't a battery that man makes that is acid. It's an alkali. There is energy. So alkalinity is what produces electricity. And since the human body is also electrical, and you're going to feed it something dead, well, you have not done anything. He also championed sea moss, a nutrient-dense algae he believed was a superfood for the immune system. Because it is alkalinity that delivers the energy. There isn't a battery that man makes that is acid. It's an alkali. There is energy. So alkalinity is what produces electricity. And since the human body is also electrical, and you're going to feed it something dead, well, you have not done anything. You're going to have to feed the body electric food. According to Dr. Sebi, our modern diet is the root of many health problems. Well, how come Homo sapiens are exempt from that same law? There are no vegetarian among the Homo sapiens. How I found out that black people should be vegetarians, because when I begin to remove you from that meat and that stuff, that grease, you begin to say in one week, of the pain that you had for years begin to disappear. Rice, beans, flour, cheese, meat, and starches, he claimed, were all lab-created foods contributing to disease. Instead, he promoted a diet that was simple, natural, and in harmony with our biological need. Why? The molecular structure is complete. It was made by nature, not man. Anything that God made has no starch. That's another thing. Anything that nature makes has no starch. Anything that man made has to have starch because starch is a binder. The strict guidelines. Dr. Sebi's diet wasn't just about what to eat, but also how to live. Drink one gallon of natural spring water per day, avoid microwaves, and stay away from canned or seedless fruits. His followers were to avoid wheat products, animal products, and alcohol. Well, we want you to know that your substance, we analyze them in our laboratory, and your substance should be considered natural vegetation cell food. They, Lancaster Laboratories, are the leading laboratories in the world in reference to organic and biological research, and they gave me that. They were the ones that went to the Supreme Court because the Attorney General and Dr. Victor Herbert said that if my compound cured people, they should be categorized as medicine. Focusing on natural growing grains and foods listed in his nutritional guide. This still water to cook with, not to drink, to cook with. Because this still water has a pH of seven. It will rob you of your minerals. To drink the water, the glacier is good. Perrier is good. Anything that is done by Mother Nature. If the alkalinity is being obtained through a process of osmosis, it's no good. It will injure you because they have done it mechanically. You want nature to do it. Skepticism and controversy. Not everyone was convinced by Dr. Sebi's methods. The scientific community criticized his lack of formal proof and warned against forsaking traditional medicine. All the products of God are alkaline. Because if God had made an acid substance, well, now, God, what are you talking about? What are you doing? What's your game? That you're going to feed me acid food? No. God is merciful. Yet, despite the skepticism, his followers swore by the improvements they saw in their health, impact, and legacy. Dr. Sebi treated numerous high-profile clients, including Michael Jackson, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, and John Travolta. These celebrities, along with countless other followers, praised his methods for their transformative effects. His diet and teachings continued to influence many through books, online courses, and wellness communities. Personal transformation stories. One of Dr. Sebi's followers shared, I was 290 pounds, now I weigh 120. Trust me, I haven't felt this good in my entire life. I was 291 pounds. Now I only weigh 120. That's all I weigh, 120 pounds. And trust me, I haven't felt this good in my whole entire life. These personal stories, while anecdotal, fueled the belief in Dr. Sebi's methods and drew more people to his philosophy. Practical application. Dr. Sebi's approach wasn't just about avoiding certain foods, but embracing others. 
CMOS, for example, was touted as a miracle food. CMOS have me doing things every morning like this. <laughs> That's CMOS. CMOS have me falling on my knees every morning to check them. And if they hurt, then something is wrong. CMOS is a lie. CMOS is not. CMOS has potassium iodide and potassium bromide. It has natural silica. That's why my bones, I could fall on my knees. Because CMOS is the best thing yet. CMOS, man, the best I ever had. Packed with potassium chloride, omega-3s, and chlorophyll, it was his go-to for fighting inflammation and mucus. Dr. Sebi also emphasized the importance of herbal teas like chamomile, fennel, and ginger, known for their immune-boosting and anti-inflammatory properties. His focus on natural, whole foods aimed to provide all the nutrients necessary for optimal health. Epilogue, Dr. Sebi's journey from a self-taught herbalist to a controversial health guru is a testament to the power of alternative medicine and see where this stuff is natural, is complete. But if something is made in the laboratory, where naturally common sense again shows us it could not be of usefulness. Each mineral on the planet, iron has 12,000 electrons per atom. Whether you view him as a visionary or a quack. What are we ingesting? And whatever we are ingesting, did our archeologists paleontologists, historians, or Egyptologists? Did they take time out to ask about the food that would maintain my hormones, my central nervous system in perfect working condition? No, they didn't ask these questions. There's no denying that Dr. Sebi left an indelible mark on the world of holistic health. So would you try Dr. Sebi's diet? Have you already experienced its effects? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the fascinating world of health and wellness. Until next time, remember, make sure that whenever you put something in your mouth, it's going to compliment you, serve you well, and support your nervous system.